Hello YouTubers, my name is Frederick Lopez and you're in an all new My Favorite segment. Today I'm going to be going over my favorite Val Kilmer performances. Now again, this is my favorite performances, my personal ranking. So if you see performances out there that you're a fan of that are not mentioned on this list, feel free to comment down below and let me know some of your favorite Val Kilmer performances. Starting the list at number 15 will be Top Gun. Top Gun is just an all around iconic 80s film and I really love Val Kilmer as a role of Iceman, his rivalry between uh, Maverick, Tom Cruise, and himself, as well as Goose, and also when they become friends at the end of the film. It's a very different role for Val Kilmer, different from Top Secret Real Genius. This is a very cocky uh, pilot in the film, and he's just an all-around cool guy. He lives up to the name of Iceman, and again, I like his rivalry with Tom Cruise's Maverick, and again, when he says, you can be my wingman anytime at the end of the film. Overall, a very great character that, even though it's a very short film, kind of goes through a character arc from the beginning to the end of the film. He's a different character at the end. We get to know more about him. He's not just your usual rival. He adds a level of depth to the character. Number 14 on the list is tied. I have uh, Prince of Egypt which is an animated film. It's voice work. He plays the voice of Moses. He also played Moses in another film later on in his career, but I really like his voice work as Moses. I love the kind of hesitation on going on this mission from God, the conflict within him when he has to betray his own brother and learning the truth, and ultimately when he leads his people to an exodus. Very great uh, retelling of the Bible. We've seen it in Ten Commandments, but this animated film is one of the DreamWorks Pictures' earlier films, and a very underrated voice performance from Val Kilmer. Also tied with number 14 is a film called Twixt. It is a very short indie uh, horror film uh, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. Not his best movie, not the best movie ever, but it is very original. It features Val Kilmer as an author. He's trying to write a book after his daughter dies from a tragic accident. He's trying to fix what's broken. He's a very broken character. And through this journey of this haunted town, he goes through a spiritual journey and almost a sense of healing after the loss of his daughter and the split of his marriage. He plays a very conflicted character and he plays it very appropriately well. Uh, I like what Val Kilmer does in this role and he really makes the movie worth watching. Very great casting choice by Francis Ford Coppola. Number 13 above Twix and Prince of Egypt would be Willow. I love Willow. Um, yeah, it's a fantasy movie and he plays pretty much like a knight character. He's the guy who's basically swindling the character of Willow and then later on joins him. It's a fantasy epic adventure. He's that one character that you don't know if you could fully trust at the beginning, but then he comes into his own, ultimately goes through some crazy adventure stuff with Willow. I love it. It's one of Val Kilmer's earlier roles in a very underrated, not only Ron Howard film, but a George Lucas story. Willow is a fantastic film. If you have never seen it, I would highly recommend it. And Val Kilmer is just all around a funny, he's a funny, also action hero type of character in the film. Number 12 would be Top Secret, directed by David Zucker. I love this. People Did Naked Gun did this. Brilliant parody. Uh, Val Kilmer is just funny in this. Very early role of his, and he really shows his range as an actor comedically, and it's just a very funny role. Also, one of the few times besides Batman Forever where he gets to work with Alfred Guff, uh, who also played Alfred in the Batman films. Overall, Top Secret is one of my favorite performances from him, and it's a very funny movie. Uh, if you don't believe me, watch the film and you'll know, especially in the cow part. Number 11 on my list is Batman Forever. He really added a lot more depth as Bruce Wayne. Not only did he sound kind of like Michael Keaton under the suit, he also uh, added a level of... Uh he added a level of grief and just all around torment for the role of Bruce Wayne. He was also very fit. He looked like Bruce Wayne, but he also had that other layer underneath the psychology of the character. He wasn't just a guy who stayed at his house. He was Bruce Wayne at Wayne Enterprises. He was also Batman, but yet there is something there, something of him wanting a normal life, and ultimately the reason why he is Batman, because he chooses to be. Val Kilmer added a little bit of uh, depth to the character. Now, some can argue about Michael Keaton versus Val Kilmer, but Val Kilmer did do something new with the character, and I very well respect that as a Batman fan and a fan of the actor. Val Kilmer is among one of the best, and I would say underrated, Batman. Number 10 on my list is The Ghost in the Darkness. He starred with Michael Douglas in this, and he plays a bridge engineer, 
And Michael Douglas is this old hunter, and pretty much two lions are attacking the locals around this village. And the whole movie is them pretty much going after these lions. It's the ghost in the darkness. A very intense movie. Very well done as well. I like how uh, he plays this character and how he's very different from Michael Douglas and how they play off of one another. All around, another great performance with Val Kilmer. Very different from his other roles. Number nine on my list would be Thunderheart. I love Thunderheart. He pretty much plays an agent of the FBI. He's mixed-blooded. He gets partnered with a veteran, and it's on this reservation. There's these murders on this reservation, and he has to basically solve these murder cases, these bizarre murders that are occurring around this reservation with this veteran. I like, he, again, how he's a partner with this veteran, how they play off of one another, and yet him playing a mixed-blooded character as a level... Uh, different from any other character I've really seen Val Kilmer play. Also, it's a very strong and intense story. Very relevant, and again, it's a very underrated movie. It's among one of Val Kilmer's best performances, in my opinion. Number eight on my list is Heat. I love his character in Heat. He has long hair, he's a bank robber, he has a romance with Ashley Judd, and he's pretty much like the second-in-command under Robert De Niro. He's pretty much like his right-hand man. He's not Tom Sizemore, but he's like the other guy that just kind of gets his hands dirty in the gang and also cares about his boss, played by Robert De Niro. All around, the whole movie's about Pacino and De Niro, but Val Kilmer offers an uh, extra story in the film that is very compelling and very deep in many ways. Even though he is this bank robber, he still is a human being, and he plays it with such a level of vulnerability that we usually don't see in other roles or even movies with bank robbers, he adds a human element to this character, and you really feel for him by the third act when he's no longer able to be with the woman he loves. He has to change his appearance, he has to be on the run, and we feel that with the character and performance he gives in Heat. Number seven on my list would be Real Genius. Yes, it's a moral imperative. Chris Knight, among one of his best performances, very early, after Top Secret, it's fun. Chris Knight's just all around the guy you just want to hang out with. Like, he is just fun. He's that person who is very intelligent. He's a genius. He's a real genius. But he also knows, hey, you have to smell the roses in life. You have to enjoy life. And he teaches that to the character of Mitch. All around, a great 80s film. Very underrated. You can check out my review of the film on Hidden Gems on this channel. Val Kilmer just gives one of his best performances in it. His most memorable performances. Plus, who could forget everybody wants to rule the world at the end? Val Kilmer, yet in an early role, gives a very memorable performance that you will never forget. Val Kilmer is just awesome as Chris Knight. It's a moral imperative that you check that film out if you haven't. Number six on my list would be Wonderland. Yeah, he plays an porn star who basically gets involved in these string of murders in California. Very crazy period piece. If you're like a fan of like Boogie Nights or something, you might really enjoy this film. Very, very heavy performance from Val Kilmer. Stuff you've seen like in The Doors and other films of his. He plays a very good role in this. He has a beard, curly hair. You also have good performances from Dylan McDermott, Kate Bosworth. But yeah, Wonderland is an all-around uh, underrated hidden gem of a movie and Val Kilmer gives a brilliant performance in it. Very different from his others and really, really, really heavy. He really delves into the role of the character character and all around the period that the film takes place in. Intense but underrated movie and underrated performance from Val Kilmer. Number five on my list is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Very funny action comedy written by Shane Black who did the original Lethal Weapon. Wow, Val Kilmer is just funny in this. He's a thief posing to be an actor. Then we also have this mystery writer, Robert Downey Jr., and this mysterious woman played by Michelle Monaghan, and they have to figure out these events, these murderous events going around the city. It's just a whole bunch of crazy stuff, a whole bunch of events that link all the characters together in this one giant scenario. I mean, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a very funny original movie. If you're a fan of the Nice Guys or Shane Black's humor and the other films he's written, you're going to love Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And Val Kilmer not only gives a very serious performance, but gives yet another comedic performance. And I love the way he plays off of Robert Downey Jr. It's a very great buddy-buddy movie, if you know what I mean. Much like a buddy cop movie but they're not cops it's just done in that way uh val kilmer gives one of the best performances of his career in kiss kiss bang bang and if you have not seen it i would highly recommend seeing it it's a very very underrated movie much like other val kilmer films and <laughs> it's just a fun serious uh performance from val kilmer we usually see him as serious characters we usually see him in comedy but you really don't get that like in between and in kiss kiss bang bang you really get to see that in between 
Number four on my list is a film called At First Sight. Very deep drama, also a romantic film. It's with Mia Servino, and he plays a masseuse, and he's blind. He gives one of the best performances of his career in this. It's very, very, uh, it's a very gripping story, really. He meets her, and he moves to the city with her. He's from a small town. Kelly McGillis, again from Top Gun, plays his sister, and he ends up going through this procedure to regain sight, and we get to see the period of him learning how to see. And uh, it's ultimately a love story to see if him and the woman he loves, Mio Servino, stay together. If sight is everything to true love. And ultimately what happens when he starts to lose it and he starts to become blind. Is sight everything when it comes to true love. Very deep, compelling story. And it's also just heartbreaking because we get to see him function normally as a blind man. But then all of a sudden have the ability to see for the first time. What would that be like? What would your surroundings be? getting acclimated to the world. He no longer feels like himself, he no longer feels normal. And then once you start to get used to that, you have to lose it all over again. Lose the ability to see and go back to square one. Very crazy arc. If you have never seen At First Sight, I highly recommend it. It's up there. I was almost gonna put this at my number one, but uh, there's some other performances that I, I think I like more that are my favorite, but this probably is among one of his best, if not the best. It's up there. It's at least under Tombstone. Uh, but Val Kilmer in this film, it's a very underrated movie, and he gives a brilliant, brilliant performance. You can tell he did a lot of research into the role for playing this character and being blind. And you totally relate with him. You're behind him. You go through what he goes through in the movie because of his great performance. Number three on my list would be The Saint. I love The Saint. He pretty much plays the character of Simon Templar, and he impersonates people and does jobs. It's pretty much like Mission Impossible if you did like private jobs. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. He has to find the thing to cold fusion. I love his performance with Elizabeth Shue. You get a little bit of romance there, but ultimately Val Kilmer just being different people is just fantastic. Get a little bit of Doc Holliday. Get a little bit of the funny comedic side. Get a little bit of the Doors. Get a little bit of just other stuff. Russians. He's just everybody. He's a chameleon, and he really gets to have fun with this. I'm so glad he chose this over Batman and Robin. He really gets to shine and show his range as an actor in The Saint. If you like films like the original Mission Impossible or Patriot Games, you should check out The Saint. Number two on my list uh, for my most favorite is The Doors, where he played Jim Morrison. Val Kilmer disappeared in this role so much that I thought it was Jim Morrison. He looks like Jim Morrison. Like, it, I don't even think it's an actor. Like, I don't even compute that it's an actor playing Jim Morrison. All I see in the film is Jim Morrison. And the way he was singing sounded just like him. Val Kilmer. I'm surprised he wasn't nominated an Oscar for this, or at least got some type of award, because it's an award-worthy performance as Jim Morrison. And I've seen other, like, incarnations, but, like, Val Kilmer as Jim Morrison and Oliver Stone's The Doors does such a fantastic job. One of the best performances in a musician's biopic film I've ever seen. If you're a fan of the music, if you're a fan of Oliver Stone, Val Kilmer, check out The Doors. Some parts are a bit surreal, but it is such a great movie, and it's authentic. I mean, he is Jim Morrison. You look at the posters of the real Jim Morrison and Val Kilmer, and you're like, what? Which one's which? He disappears into the role. You don't even see Val Kilmer. And that is really the great testament of a great actor, in my opinion. Number one, my favorite... Val Kilmer performance is Doc Holliday in Tombstone. I'll be your Huckleberry. I just love his performance in that. He lost a lot of weight for that. And also, his physique and just everything is different. He is Doc Holliday. Not only that, he's probably the most memorable character in the film. And that's saying a lot because the cast is great with like Bill Paxton, Powers Booth, Kurt Russell, um, Michael Bean as Johnny Ringo. I mean, the list goes on. Even Charlton Heston, Dan Delaney, Val Kilmer totally makes that movie. And I love the relationship between him and Kurt Russell's Wyatt Earp. I love the scene between uh, Johnny Ringo and him, the cup scene. And then it's just like, you speak Latin? No, I really hate you. And then that scene where it's just like, you're no Daisy. You're no Daisy at all. It's just a little too high strung. <laughs> I just love it. All around, Val Kilmer gives his best performance as Doc Holliday. Very memorable. And it for a 1993 film, it's still a very well-washed film and memorable film that has stood the test of time. And to me, that is my favorite Val Kilmer performance out of uh, all of his performances. But really, this actor has a great library of films, a great filmography as an actor. And he's very underrated, in my opinion, and very versatile. 
But anyway, that is my top 15 favorite Val Kilmer performances. Uh, if you have any other favorite performances that I did not mention or any other order, let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite Val Kilmer performances. And if you like this video, click the like button, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And look forward to my next video in which I'll go over my top 15 favorite Matt Damon performances. That'll be all. It's a moral imperative that you watch the Val Kilmer films. Seriously. He'll be your Huckleberry.